We must have been expecting this. Is 40% enough to keep GAM solvent, Patrick? I think that's one of the uh, key questions here. I mean, you're looking at a company which has been trying to find its way for a while. Uh, GAM is a, an asset manager listed in Switzerland, but with operations in both uh, Switzerland and the UK. Um, they, had, they had a scandal 18 months ago uh, that led to the loss of one of the biggest funds and also to about uh, 30 or 40 percent um, afterwards of the, uh, the key money making assets. So, you know, what our story says today uh, basically is that costs will be reduced uh, by about 40 percent as well under one scenario. Um, if that's going to be enough, I guess time is going to tell. The key question here, key, key question is what's going to happen to the assets? Are they going to go up? Are they going to go down? Are they going to flatline? Um, and so it's probably going to be enough if, if assets stay the same for now. So just Patrick, picking up on that, it's going to be interesting to see whether you can cut your way back to growth, but, but clearly they need to do mm. that. They need to rebalance the ship a little bit. What do we know about the actual strategy that is going to take this business forward, where the focus is going to be, will it be different to what it was before and how different? I think if, if the, uh, the assets stay at the same level as they currently are, it's fundamentally still an OK strategy. You know, and they have, they have several uh, pretty good funds and equities and then in fixed income, which people still like and which still make money. But at the same time, you can't, you can't have those funds and then uh, costs which are double or triple as much as they should be because you're still uh, basing them on a legacy company which had much more assets. Um, I don't think there's a need for a huge strategic change and I'm not sure uh, what else the, uh, the new CEO has in the pipeline. Um, I think at the moment it's just uh, cuts which are necessary to bring the company back to profitability. Uh, but like I say, what I'm, what I'm hearing is just one scenario and, uh, and no final decision has been taken yet. Let's just put it all in perspective. GAM had 863 staff as at the end of June, so we we're talking about anywhere between 250 and 350, according to people familiar with the matter. Where would they go, Patrick? Are hedge funds sort of thriving, or asset managers like this thriving in Europe? Would banks be thrilled to get these, these GAM cast-offs? I think what we're looking at here is, uh, is more the back office and, and support side. Uh, GAM already cut about 10% of its, of its workforce earlier this year, and that was, that was mostly the investment professionals, uh, you know, the really high earners, the front office people, and the people managing the funds. Um, and what they're now looking at is the back office and, and support, which probably has not seen the same cuts yet.